Hello everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. The title for today's video is three ways to use new LinkedIn video messaging. Keep watching and I'll give you my thoughts after the break. Hi everyone, LinkedIn has just announced that video messaging will now be possible. So obviously video has been used widely on the platform recently and it is something that engages users. LinkedIn have found from their own research that people who distribute video are more likely to get engagement and people are more likely to distribute content that is in the form of video. So they're trying to push video once again, this time via messaging. So let, let me just uh, switch to an article announcing video messaging. It's an article on social media today saying LinkedIn officially launches video within messaging. And in this video, I'm just going to discuss three ways you can use video messaging to enhance your business and to, and to grow your business. The first way to use new video messaging is by distributing a relevant piece of content. So I've focused here on a conversation. If I'm having a conversation with somebody and I think, ah, there's a piece of content that I've created either on my YouTube channel or on my blog, uh, that is relevant to this conversation, then I can sim I can simply go from the messaging in LinkedIn, find the relevant video that is uh, pertains to that particular conversation, and I would need to download the video, or if I've got it on my hard drive, just upload it from my hard drive. That would be the original direct video, not the uh, link to a video on YouTube. Don't take the people or the prospect or the lead off. LinkedIn, keep them on LinkedIn, so upload the actual video in its finished form, and that's one way to use LinkedIn video messaging. The second way to use LinkedIn video messaging is by personal video messages, and you can record these live, or you can record them and just edit them, put your titles on, etc., uh, and then upload them. These messages and these videos relate to a conversation or a meeting you've had with a particular prospect. There's two schools of thought on LinkedIn. Those people who take a mass approach and try and hit as many people as possible in the hope that some of them convert. That's not my approach. You'll know that if you've been watching the videos and you've, and you've subscribed to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. If you're enjoying this video, please also hit the like button. My approach is always a qualitative approach. So I may be having a discussion with a the prospect. They may have uh, mentioned a couple of objections or concerns, in which case I might think, ah, oh, right, let me answer those concerns in a video specific to this conversation. So it's not a generic video, it's a video specific to this conversation. I can create that video either live and just upload it. Uh, use, I'm going to insert a screenshot from the phone app because you'll see it's very easy to do that and there's a prompt there with a, a video symbol. Uh, or I could create uh, a video and edit it norm using the normal editing software and then when once it's finished then import that to the messaging function on LinkedIn so a personalized video relating to a, a, a business that you're talking to or a specific conversation or meeting is the second way to use LinkedIn video messaging the third way and this is a, a to use LinkedIn video messaging and I hope this is not going to be abused is by uh, creating a video summarizing a brand new opportunity. We all get those emails or those LinkedIn messages or those in messages suggesting that there's a new opportunity that we need to be made aware of. Uh, and if they're relevant, the key word is relevance. If it's relevant to the prospect you're talking to, then I think they will be receptive to watching a short video about the opportunity because it's easier for them to do that than it is maybe to read a long proposal or a long email. Uh, or, or long message, written message. So I think this is a good opportunity, but you mustn't abuse it. If you start sending people generic videos of unmissable opportunities, it's going to be treated as spam. And in fact, it probably is spam. So you need to avoid that. Be specific, be relevant, and send uh, you know a professional video around a new opportunity. This is something that will move you along in the conversations you're having with your leads and prospects on LinkedIn. So those are three quick ways to use LinkedIn's video messaging that was announced yesterday. In the description, I'll, I'll put a link to the article I referenced in the first minute of this video. Uh, if, I hope you, you found it useful. I hope you're going to start using video messaging. Video messaging, I think, will be uh, more effective in turning leads and prospects into actual business. Thanks for watching all the way through. Hope you've enjoyed it. 
please subscribe to the channel, uh, smash the like button, click on one of the two screenshots to watch another video. I look forward to speaking to you next time around. Take care. Bye-bye.